When setting up a character rig or any type of rig, your goal, your end goal should be to make uh, animation fun and to make it so that you can get the poses that you want uh, with as much ease as possible. And one area that uh, can sometimes give people trouble in getting certain poses is the foot. And setting up a good foot rig can do wonders for animation. So I thought what we could do is take a look at uh, one uh, type of foot rig and this is a reverse foot rig and there's lots of different ways to go about building a reverse foot rig. This is a way that I've been using for uh, close to five years now and I'm just gonna we've got um, the bones are a little hard to see in this foot so I'm gonna rotate around and uh, and so um, we've used it in a lot of different productions and it's easy to set up and easy to use so I thought we could take a look at building it. First I just want to explore the the setup first uh, if I select this backbone and move it, okay, the leg, let's come out, the leg is going to bend at the knee, okay, I can raise the entire IK leg, okay, I'm going to just bring that back down, and if I want to rotate it, I can have it swivel at the heel, pick up at the, at the heel, Okay, so I have full control on my rotation with this bone. If I want it to kind of do an about face, if I want it to swivel at the, the I call it like the foot pad right there at the front, I can just swivel this bone right here. Now the thing to note is that these two bones aren't affecting the mesh. They're more like uh, handles. Okay, they're, if I go to P for properties, their strength is set to zero. Okay, they're just there for... Uh, the ability to grab a handle and rotate. Okay, I can grab this front bone right here and rotate so that now I'm rotating on the toes. I can have them, uh, you know, s step on a cigarette there if I want. Okay, and then if I want to bend at the, the toes, I can lift the foot. Okay, so that the, the toes are staying planted, but the back of the foot is moving up. Okay, so this is just a really quick uh, and easy foot rig to set up so why don't we go ahead and dive in and set it up. I'm going to start by clearing out the scene and so we can just focus on the setup. I'm just going to use a null as my as my object but I'm going to go into uh, a side view to work with okay and I'm going to add a null and we're going to call this character and I'm just going to make it a box okay and this is going to be our character and we're just going to set up the leg and the foot so for starters I need to draw some bones so I'm going to go over to setup draw child bones and this is going to be our hip this is going to be our thigh this is going to be our calf I'm going to make a small little ankle bone okay and that's our leg setup now I'm going to set up the foot setup so I'm going to draw a bone and I'm going to start back over, if this is our leg, I'm going to draw a bone here. That's going to be our handle for our foot rig. And then I'm going to draw the other handle, which is going to control uh, the swivel on the foot pad. And then I'm going to make the toes, the foot, and then I'm going to make just a tiny little bone at the end. And those two tiny little bones, the ankle bone and this bone, aren't really going to do anything. Uh, they're just there more for, um, for holding items, uh, for getting items into place. Okay, so now that I've got the, the setup, see how I did the bones in reverse? Okay, that's going to be our reverse foot setup. So I'm going to go ahead and hit T for move. I'm going to get out of the draw bones, T for move. And this bone right here, if I hit Y, I'm getting really close to gimbal lock, so I'm going to go ahead and fix that. So set up, uh, modify, record pivot rotation. IK was disabled, but that's fine. We can go turn that back on. And now I've got that fixed. I'm going to go ahead and set up basic IK. And um, what I'll do is add a, a goal item. So I'm going to add a null and call this goal. Since we don't have anything else, I'm just going to call it a goal. Like we don't have other legs or anything. So goal. Okay. I want to um, get that up to the ankle. So I'm going to turn parents in place off. M for motion options. And I'm going to, for the parent, I'm going to pick bone four, which is the little ankle bone. 
turn parents in place on and now I'm going to uh, not have that parented. Select the hip, M for motion options, unaffected by IK of descendants. I want the IK chain to stop there. Uh, for the thigh bone, I'm going to use IK, IK in both heading and pitch. Uh, for the for the lower leg where the knee joint is, it's just a hinge, so I'm going to use IK for that. And for the little ankle bone, I'm going to set the goal to the goal and full time IK and it draws my IK chain. So I've set up the, the basic IK. While I have that little bone selected, P for properties, bone strength zero. I really don't need it to, to do anything. I prefer um, setting bone strength to zero versus turning the bone off, which allows me to quickly turn bones on and turn bones off and not have to worry about which ones to turn back on or off. Okay, so let's just test out our, our IK. So enable IK. I'm going to grab the, the null object, our goal, and I'm going to move it, and there's our IK. So we got our leg bending. But I, I don't want to grab that, that goal object. I want to grab the foot and pick up the foot and work that way. So what I'm going to do is grab the, um, the null M for motion options, and I'm going to parent it to the little bone that we put at the end of our foot so that, let me zoom out, T for move, and I've got my foot rig. I mean, I'm done. I've, I've got the reverse foot rig, but let's, let's see it in action. Let's take a look, and I'm going to show one option that we can add to it if we want, because we can always build on top of this. So I'm going to go into um, perspective view. I just love how fast this is to set up and it and it works really well. So I'm going to grab this bone, P for properties. I am going to set the strength to zero. If we had a mesh, we wouldn't want this affecting it because you'd go to rotate the foot up and it would pull on that. And same with this bone here. I'm going to set the bone strength to zero. And now we're actually uh, completely set up. So I'm going to take um, this bone. I'm going to undo. I moved that by accident. Um, y for rotate. And I'm rotating at the heel. Okay. So I can rotate. I'm going to turn auto key off just so that I don't have to keep undoing. So I have my pitch, my heading. I can even use bank and kind of swivel it from side to side. Okay. If I um, use this one, I'd probably come over and lock everything but heading so that I, I can only use heading on it. Okay. Kind of swivel that way. If I want to go to the tippy toes, uh, I just said tippy toes. If I want to go to the tip of the toes, um, we can uh, just use pitch here. If I want to stomp out, say, a, a cigarette, I can swivel this way. Okay. If I want to bend at the, the toes, I can just use the foot bone and bend this way. Okay. And if I want to start doing kind of like a walk cycle, just pick up I can swivel this around. Okay. Now, the only other thing that I might decide to add, and that's only if, uh, if I feel like it's going to be needed, is one more bone, and I'm going to come over here and grab this bone, draw child bone, and I'm going to draw it this way, but I'll come out a little longer. And um, then what I'll do is grab this bone right here, and P for properties and set its strength to zero. Okay, now let me show you why I might want to do that. I was working on a, a project and the foot rig, uh, this foot rig had worked um, for most of the projects that I had worked on and I can still grab um, this bone right here and go up on the, the tiptoes, but it called for everything to stay put except to raise the toes. So see you can raise the toes um, and this bone is no longer controlling the geometry. It's used more as a handle, and this bone will actually control the geometry so you can raise the toes. Okay. So uh, one last thing to show how, how this works, um, and uh, we should be set. We got a reverse foot rig with uh, IK on the, the leg. If you want to point the knee, just rotate the hip, and we've got 
the knee pointer. Now, there's a lot of different ways to go about rigging, but this uh, has worked for the majority of the, the productions that I've worked on. It's easy to set up, easy to use. The foot acts as if it has IK. There's zero IK going on in the foot, but it, it does uh, everything that I need it to do to get uh, really good foot uh, poses and, uh, and control the, uh, the IK leg. Remember that this is our main mover for, for controlling the leg. So just a quick look at a reverse foot setup.